think there's a combination somewhere in here. I think it's just a case of maybe just mashing the button. Hmm. Oh, new enemy. Okay. Wasn't going to show this, but here we go. What is it? A Girafelgo. Girafelgo. I don't know. How the hell they name some of these monsters. It's just crazy. I always liked him, though, because he's just a bit unique. You know, he's just swinging on that blade of his, just, his blade chandelier. Oh, and he's not been knocked off. Nothing to steal. Alright, move in for the kill. Oh, he's back on. No, oh, he's falling back off. He has got a little bit of health on him, though. Right, well, instead of running around like a, like a blind lunatic, I'm going to uh, actually just look up what I have to do. Alright, I know what to do now. I stupidly missed the uh, obvious note here. It's funny because when I walked in here, I immediately was going to go check it out, but then I got distracted. So, I must get rid of all those that stand in the way of my research, even the one from the Turks. I wonder who that is. Scientifically altered him and put him to sleep in the basement. If you want to find him, then search the area. So this is really all to recruit a very secret, awesome character. Uh, this is merely a game I thought of. It's not necessary if you to participate if you don't want to. A.K.A. Hey guys, this is a side quest! Seems to be another letter. Read it. Move the dial on the safe carefully, but quickly. You have 20 seconds. Do not go past the numbers while turning. Yeah, that's the bitch about this thing. I always struggle with it. I don't know why. Uh, four hints for the numbers are... So dial one. The lid of the box with the most oxygen. Alrighty. Oh, you have to read all this shit again. Dial two. Behind the ivories short of T and Ray. Now that's kind of a difficult one. But I think I know where it means. Um, and number three. There are actually four, though. Creak in the floor near the chair on the second floor. Then to the left five steps, up nine steps, left two steps, and up six steps. What a load of fucking bollocks. How the hell? <sighs> right. Well, I know where that is, roughly, anyway. And the final one is actually, if you... Select the invisible option. <laughs> invisible ink, alright. So that's right 97, that is the last one you want to input. So, I could just go straight to the safe and input the combination because I know what it is, but I'm just gonna try and show you all how to do it anyway. So for number, th for the second one I think it is, it's in this room, and around here. Something is written on the floor, so left 10 is the second one, which is between the... It's supposed to be between the tea room and the ray of sun coming through the windows. I don't know, that would take me a long time to figure out. But for those of you who want to do it the, you know, the legitimate way, without cheating, uh, this is how you do it. Oh, that did nothing. That did absolutely fuck all. Let's try out the hammer blow. That did nothing. Does that attack MP? Or am I thinking of uh, his other limit break? I don't know. Do 
Kick his ass, Tifa. Oh, god damn it. You'd think it'd be so difficult to land perfectly on that, but oh, I find a way. Tifa, please learn a new limit break. That'd be really awesome. You suck. Regards, mage. Right. So let's head up to the second floor. Oh, so many fights. Oh, Tifa's so close to leveling again. Right, so let's go to the left for the first dial, which is the box with the most oxygen, which is the empty chest over here. Right, 36. And the last, well, the third one is a bit tricky to find. I think it's over here somewhere. It's in this corridor, I know it is. It's got to be. Or is it in this room? We'll find it. I know it's around here. I could be mistaken. I'm smashing the button. You never know. Oh, there we go. Something is written on the floor. Right, 59. So you could just follow the instructions, taking so many steps or whatever. Or you could just go there. Right, to the safe. Although I should heal first before I attempt this. I think I will. Uh... In fact, I'll just quickly head back to the inn. Okay, so we're fully healed and we're ready to do this. Oh, I, 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 I was, uh, still open safe. Right, so we've got right 36, left 10, right 59, right 97. So, let's try this. Oh, no, I fucked up already. <laughs> I went straight to the second one. Um, right, right 36. Left 10. Shit. See what I mean? It's uh, it's very difficult. You can't help it sometimes, just going over. You gotta be quick, though. Excellent. 59. Shit! Ugh. Open the safe. Right. Let's do this, mate. Come on. Stop being a dick. 10. 10. Yes. 59. 59. No! God damn it! Fuck! Come on, baby, 59. Come on, right, 97, 97. Oh, fuck a duck! No! Why did I do that? It's not hard. It really isn't hard. Oh, you're taking a piss. Right. Yep, okay. Okay, we're going for it, guys. We're going for it. Yeah, one second to spare. And for our... For our troubles, we get... A boss fight. I believe this guy's called Lost Number, and there's a bit of a funny thing about this fight. You see, he's got two halves to him. He's got a purple half and an orange half. Although you can't actually attack individual halves. But, basically, when you get him down to half health... If you attack him with a physical, he will turn all purple, and if you attack him with magic, he'll turn all orange, I believe. Uh, he is weak to poison, and basically we want his um, magic uh, half. Uh, well, we want him in his magic form, is what I'm trying to say, because he's easier to beat. And he does less damage. Oh boy, I'm sucking so bad already. This is bad news. So we're going to poison him, and hopefully that will help us. Oh, it hasn't taken, though. Don't attack Tifa, you cock! Let's weaken him a bit, the Klim Hazard. Now, I don't know how much HP he's actually got in total, which is why I wanted the Sense Materia. 
Well, no, is it? No, he's not weak against poison. I'm thinking of the other boss. I think. I don't know anymore. Right. Cure yourselves. So really we want to be attacking with magic if we can. Mm, so tends to use a limit break though. How much HP has he got? In fact, let's quicken, quicken ourselves. Oh, we still got plenty to go actually. So uh, keep up with the magic. He's big guard. Give us a boost. Oh, he really doesn't like Tifa, does he? Cloud and Barrett are basically unscratched and she's been killed like three times? It's just sexism, that's what it is. Healer. Thank you. as a magic attack? I hope so. Because that does a lot more damage than these spells. Ah, there we go. Yep, he's all orange. So he should just use magic on us now, which isn't nearly as scary as his physical attacks. But he's now resistant to magic, so now we should be able to just pummel him. Quake 2. Oh, it's still pretty fucking scary, that, you know. Of course. Oh, what a shit limit break, Tifa. I really need to heal. That's a bit better. Thinks the scary part's over. Bit of a shaky start, but we recovered. Oh, 2000. Very nice. Cosmo Memory. Now that is an item needed for Red's level 4 limit break. I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. Bit random that you get, him, get it from him, but anyway, this is a nice bit of summon materia. Odin. Now, there's a chance of him having uh, different attacks when you summon him. Um, one of them being an instant kill, where he basically just cleaves everything in half. But a nice little thing you can do, I've been told, is to add him, pair him with the added effect material, and you can have instant death on your weapon. Which is really cool, and I might try that, you know, because... Hell, we want to show off Odin anyway, so we're going to give him to Barrett. And uh, did he have life in that? No, it was poison, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll get rid of sense for now. Give him poison again. And uh, just do a little bit of healing. So yeah, that's the first part of this quest done. Now we can head to the basement. Can't believe I had so much trouble with that safe. I underestimated my shitness. I was gonna skip this, but you know what? Let's show off Odin if we can. 
see what he's going to do for us. Now, this isn't his awesome attack, I don't think. But he does look cool, anyway. He either attacks with a lance or a sword, possibly. Maybe there's more options than that. But Odin is just so... It's one of the coolest summons ever. Just visual. So yeah, that just does, like, damage, maybe. But his other one just kills him outright. Brilliant. So now we should have a chance, if the enemies are weak against death, to uh, kill him instantly. Didn't happen that time, though. No? But I'm sure it will, eventually. To the basement. A uh, new enemy, actually, down here. There's a, a bat floating about in the background there. I really, really need to uh, get more MP, though. It is worth getting a few of these enemy skills, because I tend to rely on them more than anything. They're ridiculously powerful, especially if you get Beta and Aqualung. And they're not that difficult to grab, at least... Well, Beta was a bit of a bitch, but... Ah, this is... This, ooh, I shouldn't... <laughs> this is a, a certain character's theme that we may be able to acquire soon. So there's this door that I don't think we could have gone in before. Or do we need to um, do something first? Hang on. Let's check out the basement first. Uh, okay, more bats from both sides. <sighs> that sucks. about at all. Maybe if you were fighting 50 of them, then that would be a bit of an issue. Shiva's leveled up. Oh, cool. Vampire Fang. I'm guessing that just, like, absorbs enemies' HP and gives it to you. Well, this basement's looking uh, more basementy than the last time we were here. Sephiroth didn't clean up after himself. Oh! He's there! So he was in the mansion. He just stood there. Yeah, got a reunion. Your face, my sword. go to... I will go north past Mount Nibble. I always find that name funny. Nibel, Nibble, Nibble. If you wish to find out, then follow. Oh, thanks for the materia, bro! Oh, that is so cool. I wish I could fly. So he's just given us the destruct materia and told us where he's going. So Sephiroth, he's not such a bad guy. Aside from murdering an entire village. 
Uh, destruct material, what does that do? Okay, so gets rid of barriers. You can learn death eventually. Oh. All right, cheers, Sefi. So let's make make chase. Looks like we're climbing the mountain. Climbing the mountain. I said that weird. Right, can we go in here? How do we get in there? a freaking way of doing it. Hmm. You know guys, I'm a bit puzzled actually. Should be able to get in there. 